everyone. The respect to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Idelberto Oplinaria, our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Rosemary Masasar, SDD Chief Dr. Maria Carmila Ablin, CID Chief Dr. Maria Eva S. Idon, and our Division Research Specialist, Dr. Bridget Avalorio. Good day, Division of Lanao del Norte. I am Charity May de Cayala Alvarez. And I am Neljon Islanga from Carusa Integrated, Integrated School. School. We, we are, are here, here to present our completed action research entitled Improving Students' Academic Performance in Physical Science Using Flipped Classroom Method. For the context and rationale, the science curriculum in the Philippines is strengthened in the K-12 Basic Education Program, Deep in Order No. 8, Series of 2015, to allow the students to compete and follow the standards of education performance and competency in the neighboring countries in Asia and the world by Dizon et al. 2019. With implementation of K-12 curriculum, science teachers are challenged to ensure that students are scientifically literate, which means that teaching should not only be limited to acquisition of knowledge, but also in the development of higher order thinking skills. Moreover, because of the current COVID-19 pandemic, teachers must take so much effort to find new teaching methods to increase the effectiveness of learning process and to continually provide quality education to the students to keep doing learning activity even during this difficult time. Physical science is one of the core subjects of grade 11. It includes application of physics and chemistry concepts in context. These subjects, especially chemistry, mainly viewed as one of the most challenging subjects to understand, and as a result, it attracts fewer students and failure rate is high. By Alamdawi et al. 2021, Sintima 2020. Asan et al. 2015, as cited by Al-Madawi et al. 2021, stated that one of the factors that may contribute to students' poor achievement in this subject is lack of interest and in traditional teaching strategies with inadequate instructional materials. Such problem is evident for grade 11 students of Carusa Integrated School who showed low scores in these results in third and fourth quarter for school year 2020-2021 in figure 1. Learners showed low interest in studying the subject and considered it as the most difficult subject because it is more on chemistry and physics that deals with chemical reactions, stoichiometry, and computations. These factors resulted to poor academic performance of the students. To address this problem, the researchers of this study aim to improve the students' academic performance in physical science using flipped classroom approach. For strategy applied in traditional teaching, we have the explicit teaching which is I do, we do, and you do. While in flipped classroom method, it is the opposite, which is first is you do, followed by we do, and I do. Advantages of flipped classroom approach. First is it allows students to learn in their own pace. Second, it encourages students to actively engage with lecture materials. Third, it frees up actual class time for more effective, creative, and active learning activities. Fourth, teachers receive expanded opportunities to interact with and to assess students' learning. Last, is students 
take control and responsibility for their learning. The researchers aim to apply flipped classroom strategy in the lesson about rates of chemical reaction with a code S11 12PS 3F23 which occurs all around us and has many re real life applications. Research suggests that flipped classroom approach allows students to learn and retain information better than through traditional teaching. Such method creates an, an interactive learning environment and develop critical thinking and higher order thinking skills as students actively take responsibility for his or her own learning under the guidance and direction of the teacher to achieve significant learning according to Garcia et al. 2018. With the use of this pedagogical model in physical science subject, students will be provided with sufficient time and space to explore, analyze, and develop comprehensive knowledge on a given topic, thus improving academic performance of the students. The research questions. The study aimed to improve the students' academic performance of grade 11 students in physical science course using flipped classroom teaching method. Specifically, this study aimed to answer the following questions. First, what are the prettiest scores of grade 11 participants in physical science and the postest scores after the intervention? Second, is there a significant difference in the pre-test and post-test scores of participants? Third, what are the intervention programs to be proposed based on the research findings? Action Research Methods The participants of the study were the grade 11 students of Carusa Integrated School, Capatagan, Lano del Norte, who are enrolled in physical science for the school year 2021-2022. A quasi-pre-experimental pre-test post-test research design was employed to gather data and answer their research questions. The researchers employed purposive sampling method to gather data. The participants of the study were the 38 grade 11 students of Carusa Integrated School for the school year 2021-2022. Before the intervention, each group was measured using pre-test and using post-test after the intervention using a teacher-made test questionnaire in physical science. The questionnaire consists of 25 multiple-choice items on the topic of rates of chemical reaction. It was validated by the school head and education program supervisor in science and was pilot-tested. After pilot testing, reliability of the questionnaire was computed with convex alpha below 0.7, which means that the questionnaire is not good and has lower reliability. To increase the reliability of the instrument, five items were deleted, resulting to a convex alpha of 0.820, which means the instrument is better and has high internal consistency. With the results obtained, the researchers proceeded to the conduct of the study. Learning materials such as video lessons or lectures, handouts, and other learning materials were given ahead to the students digitally via messenger as well as in print form for them to study and answer relevant questions at home. Interactive activities related to the topic were administered during Monday to Wednesday where teacher researchers are in temporary learning spaces under Kat Unsatugaran, Temporary Learning Space Towards Reading and Learning Excellence or TLS2 RLE program of Carusa Integrated School to conduct classes. During the conduct of the study, the researchers made sure that proper health protocols were applied such as hand sanitizing, wearing of face mask, and social distancing. Furthermore, proper code of conduct was observed. An informed consent was given to the participants stating the purpose of the study, ensuring that their participation is voluntary, 
More so, parental consent was also given to their parents indicating the important conditions and guidelines in the conduct of the study. For data analysis, the data gathered were analyzed using statistical package for social science or SPSS version 20 for arithmetic mean and paired t-test. Results and discussion. Problem number one, what are the pre-test and post-test scores of grade 11 participants in physical science before and after the intervention? Table one presents the pre-test and post-test performance of the students. Students' mean score during pre-test was classified as fair. After the intervention, students' mean score, which is 17.26, the standard deviation of 1.96 in post-test increases and as interpreted as very satisfactory. Results indicate that grade 11 physical science students struggle in understanding the concept as shown in their pre-test mean score. However, it was evident that the mean score of students in post-test got a remarkable increase after the intervention from a mean of 10.21 as interpreted as fair to a mean of 17.26 as interpreted as very satisfactory. The remarkable improvement of the scores with mean difference of 7.05 indicates the effectiveness of the teaching intervention applied. Problem number two, is there a significant difference in the pre-test and post-test scores of participants? Table two shows that paired t-test results. Results reveal that there is a significant difference in the pre-test and post-test scores of the participants with p-value less than 0.05. This implies that flipped classroom approach, which is the intervention applied, was effective in improving the academic performance of the students in physical science. Problem number three, what are the intervention programs to be proposed based on the research findings? First, conduct in-service training or learning action cell, lock session. Second, coaching and technical assistance for teachers to be fully equipped with the process and implementation of this pedagogy. Hence, Teachers should adopt the flipped classroom teaching strategy in teaching science and even in other subjects to address the least mastered competencies. Discussion Results of the study show that flipped classroom approach is effective in improving the academic performance of students in physical science. This strategy helps the students come to class with background knowledge on the lesson to be discussed and increases students' involvement. Findings of this study agreed to the findings of Mingoran Strada et al. 2019, who found out that flipped classroom approach significantly improved the academic performance of students. Mingoran Strada et al. 2019 stated that flipped classroom approach offers an opportunity to transform the traditional system by improving classroom environment, the teaching learning process, and the student's assessment. Additionally, this teaching pedagogy increased class attendance and student participation, resulting to a greater learning motivation. Study of Intizari and Javdan 2016 also attested the effectiveness of flipped classroom approach in improving the student's learning in human anatomy and physiology. Furthermore, results of study of Torres Martin et al. 2022 reinforce that flipped classroom approach effectively promotes students' interest, their capacity of autonomous learning, and personal and cooperative relationships. Conclusion Grade 11 physical science students perform better after the intervention was applied. This implies that flipped classroom teaching strategy significantly improved the academic performance of the students. There was a remarkable increase in mean score of the students from pre-test with a mean of 10.21 as interpreted as fair to post-test with a mean of 17.26 as interpreted as very satisfactory. Moreover, results of paired t-tests revealed that there is a significant difference in pre-test and post-test scores of the students. This further indicates that flipped classroom approach is effective in improving academic performance. 
more so, this strategy increases students' engagement and interest and promotes autonomous learning. Recommendations Considering the outcomes and conclusions of the study, the following are recommended. First, teachers may use flipped classroom teaching approach to improve students' performance in science, even in other subjects, to address the least mastered competencies. Second, learning action cell, coaching, mentoring, and technical assistance can be conducted for teachers to be fully equipped with the process and implementation of this pedagogy. And last, education program supervisors of the different learning areas may encourage teachers to use this teaching strategy to address the least mastered competencies. These are our references. Thank you for listening. Once again, I am Charity May de Cayana Alvarez. I am Neljon Islanga from Carusa Integrated, Integrated School. School.